Hi, this is Ever. I make stick figure illustration and animation for Minute Earth, and I have realized that most people don't have a clue of how digital drawing is made. So when presented with things like this, or this, they will believe it's done with magic. But that's not true, not entirely at least. These drawings and all the digital illustrations for Minute Earth are made in Adobe Photoshop, which is a software in principle similar to Microsoft Paint. If you are familiar with paint, you know that you can draw, freestyle, change the pencil thickness and color, fill closed regions, erase, zoom in, zoom out, and if your hand shakes too much, add perfect shapes. With enough time and patience, you can make pixel art, which is the digital version of cross-stitching, which is also very fun. And while you could certainly paint pixel by pixel to make your drawings, it could take way too much time. Also, pixel art will have this, well, pixelated feeling. And even if they don't have this feeling at first sight, if you zoom enough, you're going to clearly see those pixels. Images made up of pixels are known as raster graphics. In contrast, we have vector graphics, which won't get pixelated no matter how much you zoom in. You can make vector graphics in Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, Inkscape, and even in PowerPoint. I mean, PowerPoint allows you to make basic vector illustrations, given that you get rid of those horrible default colors. With vector graphics, you can scale without losing quality, change the shapes you already drew, rotate them, add gradients, make polygons, edit them, and even make fancy curves. Of course, PowerPoint is not the best tool if you're into vector graphics, but you get the point. Vector drawing, in general, have a clean, flat, minimalistic look. And while you could certainly make paintings with vectors, it's not going to be an efficient process, because vectors are not meant for complex gradients, textures, or realism, and because digital painting requires a graphics tablet. You can still paint with a mouse, but using a graphics tablet is faster and more comfortable. Digital artists use a wide variety of software for painting, like Corel Painter or Krita. However, the most popular is Adobe Photoshop. For starters, Photoshop can use pen pressure to adjust brush size, opacity, scattering, color, and even shape. I mean, how cool is this? This is still raster graphics, but you won't get those jaggies. You can add gradients, vectors, text, edit photos, fix photos, fake photos, and way more things that you can list in a video. One of the coolest things in Photoshop is that you can draw in different layers, which means you can make a sketch in one layer and use it as a guide to draw the line art in another layer, then hide the sketch and add color in another layer. This is a pretty cute drawing already, but let's make it cooler. Add shadows by making a new layer and turning it into a clipping mask, which will allow you to draw only on top of the color. Change the layer's blending mode to multiply and turn opacity down. Erase this stuff, pick black and make shadows. Create a new layer for the background, pick the gradient tool and personalize it by adding a bunch of beautiful blues. Select circular gradient and you get a nice background. Finally, make a new layer and then using a light blue, make the rain. Change its blending mode to overlay, fix and add some extra stuff, and there you go! A cool, simple and great thumbnail for a Minute Earth video. See you next time!